starting. Hello. I think we're live now. Hello, everybody. YouTube's just catching up now. There we go. Morning, sort of. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait for a few to come in. This was a spur of the moment. Surprise. Spur of the moment. Now, Kimmy and I are going to be altering muffin tins today. We couldn't figure out. I have a bad computer, so we couldn't do it on my channel. So we're back. <laughs> yeah, we're on here now. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is a very little, tiny little, um, it's actually a bonbon tin, oh, I think. Um, and it's super small. You can see it fits in my hand. So all I've done with mine so far is gesso it. And then I added some lace. I Mod Podge some lace to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. There you go. I love that. And it's, it's dried now. But that's going to create some really cool texture um, once I get it painted. And I've got some gears and hearts and a tiny little light bulb. Oh, wow. And some... Uh, clay pieces anyway and I'm gonna do like a rusty patina effect on mine so that's kind of the direction I'm going in and now I will click over on Kimmy and you can share what you're gonna do Kimmy okay this is kind of an upcycle for me I went through my kitchen and I picked up sorry I'm mixing paint as we speak um I picked up one of these, like a faux Pampered Chef mini muffin tins. And cool. it's got a hole in it, which is cute. So it can be a hanging Christmas decoration. So I've just hit mine with two coats last night of black uh, Liquitex gesso. And I'm mixing up some paint. I'm kind of going with a chalky cobalt um navy blue-ish type of color scheme. I think I'm going to do like navy, silver, and white. Cool. If I can get there paint-wise, I'm having a little difficulty, but um, I have pulled some goodies in advance right here. So I've got some Chinese braided trim. I've got my Versamark, my Distress Oxide, some embossing powder, um, some of this chunky glass, some blingity bling, some love chunky glass. Can you see it? Yeah. Renee's bouquets. Um, I've got some little punched out paper circles, some more bling. And then I've got the um, Distress Ink Salty Ocean. So we're just going to, oh, and these cute little fairy orbs that are also from Renee's bouquets. So I'm just going to play around. Um, and I've got my metallic rub-ons that are well loved and used. So we're just kind of just, we're going to play around and see and make a, a cute Christmas piece. Cool. This is my color scheme. So I'm doing something um, different. Like it's not the color scheme for my kitchen or my house. So this might end up being a gift for somebody. So. Grab your cuppa like I have mine and feel free to join us and ask us questions. Kim's kind of doing a mixed media take on hers and I'm kind of doing a shabby vintagey take on mine. So that's right. And I'm just starting to get mine painted. I'm using Martha Stewart Metallic. This one is called Click Rust. Back on you. Click back on you. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, this okay. one's called yeah. Rust. Um so it's rust rust metallic paint. Um, That's a Martha Stewart, right? Yeah, this one's Martha Stewart. I like Martha Stewart paint. Um, the each paint has its own like properties. Like I'm also going to be using a Deco Art Americana in Desert Turquoise. I love um, Martha Stewart and Deco Art paint. Yep, I love this color too. I'm just going to check the chat real quick. It says we have nine people. Yeah, say hello in the chat, guys. So we know you're here. I don't see anybody. No, they're just watching. 
I know today was a spur of the moment live thing, so. It's a surprise. But Kimmy said, well, we're just sitting here. Let's go live anyway. So I was like, all right. So I'm just trying to get in all the little nooks and crannies now because I've got that lace on there for texture. Um, so you want to use a fairly sturdy brush for this type of thing. I hope you guys are, um, is everybody ready for the holidays? Hey, Jamie. Jamie. Jamie's here. Hi, Jamie. How Thanks you doing, for girl? Us on a surprise live. I think Jamie might be coming on on Tuesday. <laughs> Got to talk to her. I'm pretty sure she said the 11th. That would be Tuesday. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jamie. Maybe Shannon or Siobhan will see that we're here. Yes, we didn't tell either one of them we were going live. So. I know, we're bad friends. <laughs> we both kind of had a rough morning, so we're just kind of, this is our happy place. So here we are. All right, so I'm going to just uh, uh, dry that now and then probably do, you know, it's going to end up having multiple coats of things on it. And then I'll start. Um, well, actually, before I do that, before I dry that, I've got some rust embossing powder. Nice. Who made that? This one's Ranger. Good stuff. So I'm going to sprinkle the embossing powder. Jamie just woke up. She has to check her calendar. It's all good, girl. Yeah, she's three hours behind us. Whenever you want to come on is great. So I'm just going to sprinkle that in the wet paint and then um, heat it. Heat set it. That's an awesome technique. Because the thing about rust is it's very textured. Yeah, and that's a great technique if people haven't tried that. You don't always have to have, you know, embossing. Liquid. No, anything wet, you can emboss. You can even use water. If it sticks to the embossing powder, um, mm -hmm. as long as the embossing powder has a moist surface to stick to. Boy, that really got in my fingers. This is going to be a messy hand day. All right, Glossy, keep going. Glossy accents, any other color ink pad you want, crackle, medium. As long as the embossing powder doesn't like fly away, if it's stuck to a wet surface, it'll stay. Right. If you use Scrap Perfect products, um, the Perfect Crafting Pouch, you just Is tap. my heat gun loud? No. You actually just tap it. I'll show you. Mine is sitting right here. I'll show you when it's my turn next. But you would just tap that on there before you emboss, and it keeps everything. I love that rust. Looks really pretty. Okay. Let's clean my brush. And the thing with mixed media, of course, like I said on my last other videos that I've done on mixed media, is layering, layering, layering. And I like to start with my darker color and work my way to lighter. So this is called Desert Turquoise it's Americana. Nice. Whoops. Let me bring that out. Okay. Do 
do it this way. And to get the patina look, you don't want to cover the whole thing. You just want to do highlight. Who doesn't love a good patina? Right? I love it. And now I've got a bit more texture on here from the embossing powder, and I will be adding more embossing powder. Is my heat gun too low? Nope. Hey, Tabby. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Lovely to see you, lady. Spending our surprise life. <laughs> yeah, it's not my normal day, but hey, we're here. We're altering muffin tins, by the, as you can tell by the title. Kim is doing mixed media, and I'm doing savvy sheet. Trying to create a patina effect. I need to do the back of my tin as well. And we're just going to keep on layering different colors just to keep that old rusted patina look what's everybody up to today oh thank you mom she loves watching us kim you're so sweet we're gonna make this tin look like it's been sitting around for a hundred years <clears throat> Nettie, okay. I hope I remember. If I forget, Nettie, I'm sorry. My memory's so bad with names. Is that mom's name? Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice to meet you, Nettie. Now we have a name to put with you. Okay, so then now I've got some uh, Art Alchemy Metallic Rusty Red, it's called. Nice. If I can get it open. Let me click over on Kimmy for a minute and she can show okay. you. What it's kind of a hot mess right now, but first of all, Jamie, this is the perfect crafting pouch from Scrap Perfect. So you're going to take your little paper. You can see it's like powdery. I keep mine in a little soap dish on my desk. It literally sits in here and you can see the powder in there. So you would pick this up and just tap it on whatever surface you want to emboss on and it will help those fly away um, pieces of embossing powder. It's like an anti-static tool and it's fabulous. Okay, so I kind of mixed my own paint for the base color, but I don't care for it too much. It's not pearly enough. So I just put some drops of this um, folk art blue taffeta pearl. So I'm going to kind of work that in a little bit. The reason I picked this blue was because it's a chalk paint. So eventually I'm going to be, um, you know, sanding off a little bit to make it look um, a little more vintagey. Cool. So there'll be a lot of heat gunning going on today. So if anybody, if we're too loud or we need us to speak up or turn our mics down or anything like that, of course, let us know. And feel free to share this. Especially since we were just impromptuing it. <laughs> I'm just Sometimes kind of those are the best ones, right? Yeah, and I'm just spreading out a little bit of my pearl throughout, and then I'm just going to go back um, after I dry it with my handy-dandy baby wipes to kind of get it a little bit more where I want it. 
Hey, Mary. Hey, Don Marie. Hey, Mary. Hey, Don. Woo. Nope. Mary, not Mary. Oh, Mary. Sorry, <laughs> Mary. We'll get one of these days, I promise. What are you guys up to today? My husband is busy. He's off today and he's putting outside Christmas lights up. We got the inside of the house almost finished yesterday. Oh my God. I'm proud to report that my studio, that. my studio is almost clean. I showed Kim and it's pretty darn close. I'm like really proud of myself. I worked really hard on it almost for 10 hours yesterday to get it that way. Cool. Right? Who doesn't love a clean studio? I found everything I was looking for except the one thing I originally couldn't find, some canvases. I still didn't find them. It's killing me. I got to make sure I tell Deanna that because she's having the same problem. Jamie's off work today. Woohoo, girl. Thanks, Jamie. All right, I'm going to click back over on me. Good so, morning, Kilberg. Hey, how are you? Um, What's your first name, Kilburn? I used a little bit that. of the metallic rusty red, but it's very close to the Martha Stewart rust paint that I used. So now I'm going to use the metallic um, light patina, which I need to get a new jar of this and just add a bit of the lighter. That is a very different color combination, I have to say. Well, rust and patina, you know, those are the colors. I'm going to need a little bit of green, too. Dawn, or no, Neri is making meatloaf for the kids, washing clothes, and sorting to make surprise boxes in a custom order. Nice. Oh, cool. Kilburn is, are, is your, oh yeah, Kilburn is Christina. Yeah, I knew Hi, that. Christina. We haven't started the baking yet. I think the shopping for the baking is going to happen tomorrow, though. I know it looks, it's in its ugly stage at the moment, but it'll get there. You want to hear what's interesting, though, Kim? Um, on the news, to the local news today here, they announced the Panatone color for 2019. Mm -hmm. Anybody see that or know what it is? Because you'll never guess in a million years. I was really surprised. I think it was, I saw something. It was a purple, wasn't it? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Was it teal? No. What was it? Let's see if anybody in the chat knows. Oh, shopping tomorrow. Yeah, I'm shopping for baking stuff. Kim is going to share with me a very good shortbread recipe, and we're going to do some peppermint chocolate and um, chocolate chip and peanut butter. Oh, yep, she knows it. Mom knows oh. it. Coral. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Coral. I could see that. I've seen a lot more coral lately. I'm just shocked because, you know, last year coral was like, oh. So I'm a little shocked by that, I got to say. Okay. So now I'm using some of this um, iced enamels, really, really thin turquoise, but it's got all kinds of different things in here. It's got black and it's got glitter and. So again, I'm doing the what same thing. I'm just adding it to the wet paint. So it's just like a another, you know, almost like a microbead type of thing? Well, it's an embossing powder, but it's got bits in the embossing powder. Oh, I had some of those and I gave them away because I wasn't sure what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, it's just embossing powder. I love these ones. I got it at Hobby Lobby, so I'll have to look for the, more of those. Yeah. Heat gun. I love meatloaf. Meatloaf does sound good. I make a good meatloaf too. Yum, yum. All right, so we're going to heat that. And then I'm going to start working on my bits to go inside it. <laughs> I need a little bit of green and a little bit of black, I think.
That's a really strange color spree, Kim. Well, you're trying to achieve that old rusted patina look, right? Yeah, you're not really a green person. No, but I love rust and patina. Yeah. You have some questions. Yep. Yeah, it's like a chunky um, embossing powder. Um, you can get all different kinds of chunky embossing powder. There is um, some from Stampendix that I love. I'll get for you. Hang on one second. This one is from Stampendous and it's called Shabby Blue. They also have it in several other colors. They've got pink, they've got ivory, they've got they have aqua, flakes. they've got all kinds of things. But this one, you can see, is quite chunky. It's got oh. blue, white, gold, it's got they glitter them, in it. They make them in flakes as well as chunks. Yeah. Um, so there's that. And then this one is called Ice Enamels that I used by Susan Leonard Kasmer. I've had this for years. Embossing powder, you buy a jar of it and it lasts forever. And yeah. you can see all the little bits in that. Yeah, there's a lot of places you can buy that kind of stuff too. Like I was showing earlier, I got some, it's called Chunky Glitter Glass in Diamond, so it's clear. And that's from um, ReneeBouquet.com. Yeah, and it does melt. Embossing powder is, um, it's actually made out of plastic. Um, and when you heat set it with your heat gun, it melts. And then you get these cool textures that you can see there. Like that is all textured there now. Kim also put, after she gessoed, she um, put some white lace down. So you're seeing yeah. that texture underneath too. Yeah, this here, you can see the lace. I put, I Mod Podge that down. Chunky glitter gloss is super pretty, Jamie. It's, um, here, I'll, it's, next time I go back on, I'll show you. I can click so, on you. Oh, I'm not really, okay. Um, this is what it's called, Jamie, and this is where I got this particular one. Chunky Glitter Glass from ReneeBouquets.com. And you can see it says diamond. So you can see how it's white, almost like a snowy. And this is her logo. So if you see that anywhere. I also bought these um, cute little, she calls them fairy orbs and they come in different colors. Mine are clear. They're super cute. And they've got little like micro bees or something on the inside. And then I, I did buy some little um, cardstock butterflies. I can't find them at the moment. But I bought some of those as well from her. So here's my, I did a little bit more of the pearl on it. And what I'm going to do next is I've got these pre-punched out circles that fit perfectly on the inside of here. So I decided I'm going to do like a purpley blue and white kind of color scheme. I just threw some purple in there at the last minute. So I'm just going to use my glue gun and just start gluing some of these down and then I'll start the embellishment process. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put a whole bunch of stuff, you know, in here and yeah, on. your embellishment should be on top of it as well. Right. And on here, and this could be used for so many things. Like you could actually put little embellishments in here, buttons in here. You know, this would be great for a swap or a challenge. You could actually put little cookies in here and give it as a gift. Mine's going to be a piece of like Christmas home decor because it has a hole in it. So there will be some, um, you know, stuff going through the hole here to hang it. So what I'm doing now is quick just because we're live and it's not going to stay this way. So you don't have to do, and if you don't have glue gun or you're out of glue sticks, any kind of mixed media glue, you know, or white tacky glue, anything like that would be fine for this. You just don't want to have um, circles that are too, too big. 
So you probably want like a one inch uh, punched circle for this one. Ooh, glue strings, glue strings everywhere. So this is like, I'm totally winging this. I have don't have this planned. I have a bunch of things pulled that I might use, but um, this is not planned by any, any stretch. <laughs> so um, going along for the ride with us. Would embossing powder be good for snow? Um, yeah, it could be if it's, if it's a nice white, um, but remember, because you embossing this powder, one, this is the one that I use for snow. It's the Nuvo um, Glitter Embossing Shimmering Pearl. And then if you want to see, I have it right here. I'm sorry, Kim, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay. I mixed my own in this mason jar. It's like some plastic shavings, some of that white embossing powder, and some silver sparkle. And I this is like kind of my own. And yeah, I was going to say, you can mix things into your embossing powder because it melts and it gets sticky. So if you have like glitter glass or mica flakes or mm -hmm. just glitter, if you yep. put your embossing powder down, I'll click back over on me because I'm just layering. I've added a bit of green and a bit of black and I know it looks like a hot mess, but it's going to get there. Trust me. Um, oh, it looks nice. If... Uh, if you add those things to your embossing powder, when the embossing powder melts, it will act like a glue for the extra pieces. I wouldn't add anything heavy, like nothing heavier than like glitter or right. mica flakes or something. Like you can't glue down like jewelry or anything with it. Right. It's not a glue. But light things like that, it will um, it will hold down. So. So now I'm just going to add a bit more um, of the desert turquoise and then a bit more of the rust paint again. And then we're going to move on to the embellishments. If you follow Archana um, Joshi on YouTube, she has a fantastic snow mix recipe. Yes, and she does. Yeah, I would suggest checking that out. And you can see now that I'm re-adding some of this turquoise that because I've layered up the other colors, you know, what, what was at the beginning, the, the rusty coppery paint is now receding into the background and it's starting to really make it look old, like it's been sitting in a, a puddle of water for 50 years. Which is what you want when you're trying to achieve, you know, something old looking. And I like to dry brush too, because then you pick up all that texture that you've got. And it softens down the black and the green that I added. The green I used was also the Art Alchemy. It was a green olive. Now, does anybody have any challenges or anything going on on their channels? Make sure you let everybody know in the chat. Oh, Jamie said it's a pretty hot mess. Debbie said, nice tip. <laughs> Anybody have any challenges besides me? <laughs> Not me at the moment. I can't do anything till the new year. Too many other things on the go at the moment. And with my daughter have being ill still, you know. Oh. Yay, the sun came out. Debbie, you were so sweet. I saw on Siobhan Pearl and Buttons YouTube that you sent her a Christmas card. That was so sweet of you. And it was a beautiful card. Debbie makes gorgeous cards. I know. I would love to have one, hint, hint, because I'm going to make a banner, I think, for my studio. Because we keep the personal ones 
and make a banner in our living room. But I think I want to get any any crafty ones that I get. I'm going to make a banner um, for the studio. So this is where I'm at at the moment. But now I'm just going to add a bit more of the rust paint. You can see it looks really grungy now, which is what I want. Hi, Connie. Connie, That's I got your message, and I'm going to message you back after the live. Um, I'll send you my address, Debbie. That'd be great. I have some memo boards that I made myself that I keep. Any piece of mail that I get, I keep. I have tons. I keep cards. I keep everything. Business cards, if I've ordered from you in the past, I have it all. So now I'm just dry brushing some more of that rust paint on here. I like so see, you can make your own stuff. rusty patina effect. It is possible. <coughs> and I'm probably going to add a bit more embossing powder and then we'll set that aside. Don't you like old fashioned correspondence, Kim? I do. You know, I, I don't like that they're taking this script writing out of schools now. Yeah, and I don't like getting an emailed Christmas card. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I wonder how kids nowadays are going to, uh, hey, New York, how you doing, girl? Hey, New York. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit more embossing powder, and then we're going to set this aside. How cold is it up there today, New York? We woke up to the 40s in Florida today. It's a little chilly. It's snowing here. Is I'm it, Kim? So, I'm so happy that it's snowing. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. I'm jelly. Yep, I'll send you some. Maxi. Oh, people are starting to get their secret Santa gifts now and doing their video. She's so excited. Cool. That's Connie. That's Miss Connie. Oh, that's awesome, Connie. Here, Gun. Oh, it's now, it's now, uh, oh, it snowed yesterday where mom is, which is Canada. It snows here all the time. What can I say? I'm Canadian. It we doesn't get snow. snow here. <laughs> so if anybody wants some snow, you let me know. I do. All right. It's coming your way. It could have snowed in North Florida. I don't, it, there, it was definitely ice. They showed that on the news this morning. People were freaking out because they had to scrape ice off their windshields. I'm like, your car has a heater. <laughs> You'll be okay. Now it's starting to look really rusty and old. Oh, it was a flat 35 when New York went to work this morning. Wow. Miss Connie had snow, but nothing to stick yet. Now I'm kind of holding my heat gun. Um, it's going to spot for a second and it's kind of turning the paint and the embossing powder into this white kind of speckled look. And you can use your heat gun like that and it'll, if you hold it over your paint, it'll bubble your paint too, just to give a, another effect. Jamie said, Burr! <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty happy with that now. Now, hopefully this isn't too hot to pick up. Yeah, it's a little warm. Ooh, a little warm. So now, nice. there you go. You can see that looks really old and rusted now. I love the cold. I'm a polar bear. Ooh, that's hot. So I'm going to set that aside for a minute now and work on my embellishments. Um, because my plan is to kind, it's going to be hung up. It's not going to be 
laying down. So I'm going to put this at the top and then I've got some gears and bulbs and metal bits and things that I want to add. Um, so that's my tin. Let me just move that over here for a minute to cool. I gotta stop myself. I'm turning mine from blue into purple. And you know, obviously I love purple, but I gotta stop myself now. <laughs> now these pieces, I need to decide what colors I wanna do. I do want them to look old too. Well, I want this one to look old and then we'll do a contrasting color with that. So this one I'm gonna kind of do similar to what I did the tin cause I want it to kind of look like it belongs on it. Oh. Thanks, Don Marie. Just a Don lot Marie, of layering. Let's move going. We were thinking about you on Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I hear my husband on the roof. That's never a good thing. No. I always get nervous when my hubby goes on the roof. He knows not to go out there without me, too, you know? Men. Brown, copper, and black gives that vintage look, New York says. Yep. New York, you have so many cool vintage stores. I was in Poughkeepsie a few years back, and so many great antique and vintage stores there. I love New York State. I've been there many times. We, get, we went every summer when I was a kid. It's where I lived for many, many years. I love it and miss it. Miss the mountains and snow. Hey, Kim, I was wrong. Brian's seen snow a couple times. Oh, has he? Yeah. Yep. He was really small, though. Okay. So I'm going to put some embossing powder on this now because the paint is wet. So we're going to put a bit of the turquoise on here. I agree with you, Mom. You can only put on, you can always put clothes on, but you can only take so much off. That's all right. <laughs> oh, you left New York 15 years ago in the cold, so follows you. <laughs> yeah, it does that. Yeah, New York says they do have great stores. That's the only thing she really misses about New York. I hear you, girl. Hey, if any of y'all have stores, please feel free to type them in the chat. We love to support each other in any way, shape, or form. Yep. My challenge is because I'm turning 50. <sighs> the end of January so I haven't done the video for it yet on my YouTube but I would love to receive cards so a card a tag or a pocket letter that's in my Facebook group but I'll do a video today about it I'm just putting I'm it up ahead of time so <laughs> international people can play too what Kim I am past 50 I know I'm the baby right yeah I think you are yeah, you are. That's a nice change because in my family, I'm the oldest. So, Do you want to click on me for a minute or no? Yep. Let me click over on you. I'm just working on my embellishment. So let me just show this. So, so that's that um, clay piece I did. I love that. And that's going to sit up here <coughs> on the top of my tin. All right, let me click over on you, Kimmy. Okay, so you can see a little bit better what I've done here. This blue was the original color that I painted the whole thing because it's a chalk paint. And then I hit it with some of the pearl and then like a lavender. But then I got out my purple ink pads and I got a little overzealous. So I just took the baby wipe and kind of smeared it a little bit all around. 
So you can see my, my paper circles in the bottom, you can barely even see those. So now I'm at the embellishing point. So I've taken out my Versamark pad and I'm just gonna kind of like smear that around before I put some um, embossing powder down, just randomly. And then after I do that, I'm going to use some of the chunky glitter glass. Chunky glass. And some snow, because I just, I love this. You can't see, uh, but I'm sitting here looking at it and if the sparkle coming off of this is amazing. So that's gonna be awesome. So I'm kind of in the embellishment stage now and this is my favorite part. So forgive me because I'm about to dump embossing powder everywhere. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to use a little Tim Holtz doll, I think. I like them. So I'm just going to pour this where I swiped across with my Versamark pad. Because like Kim said, those are real juicy pads. And then I'm going to tap it off and then kind of melt it with my heat tool. <laughs> Jamie said, every time I watch you to my craft list gets longer, I'm going to go bro find Martha Stewart paints. You know what, though? <laughs> Jamie, check out Michael's. They have Martha Stewart paints on clearance all the time. I was just there the other day. See how I'm just tapping this? This is a real easy way not to make a mess with your embossing powder. And then I didn't do this, but you put a piece of um, copy paper down. So you're going to dump it. Tap. Okay, so you, you can't see it yet, but it's if I show you real close, you can see where it has stuck. And then if you had the copy paper down, you just pick it up like a, fold it and pour it back into your container to save it. And that makes your embossing powder, like Kim said, they last forever. They do. I have had embossing powders for like six years. They and don't go stale. The only thing you need to do is like stick a chopstick or, a, you know, a barbecue skewer. And just stir them up every once in a blue moon if you haven't used them. I think Nettie said she had one for 10 years. I've had some not that long, yeah. And like Kim said, like our favorite mixed media tip right now is hold your heat gun super close to get those bubbles for texture. Yeah, I you love know, that. Even though this is a shabby project in the end, you know, texture is not a bad thing. No, it's good. I love texture. And this is adding some really, really pretty sparkles. I'll show you here. I'll, I'll stop just for the live purposes and show you. If you can see at the bottom here, that's already dry and there's some serious sparkle going on. Okay, so that's where I'm at. And I'm going to start gluing embellishments down if you want to go back to you, Kim. Yeah, I've had the same gun, the same gun for a long time too, Mom said. 14 years. Good for you. Right. Um, well, mine's probably, mine blew up once. Kim my has a history with heat tools. My hubby fixed my gun for me, so that was good. Um, so I'm just working on my embellishments here, and I'm just kind of giving them a shot of similar colors, and then I'm going to add highlights and things to them to you can see them. And I've got out a couple of little Timmy dolls. I love the Tim Holtz dolls. Nice. These are wooden gears that I got from Southern Ridge Trading Company. They do die cuts and um, uh, like wooden. A few wooden things. These are wooden from them. They're a Canadian company. They're out in British Columbia. Before I forget, I wanted to add that if you don't have, you know, like a sparkle embossing powder, the other thing is you can use um, UT, you know, ultra thick embossing enamel and just add yep. some glitter to it. Yep. Jamie has recollections embossing tray. It's amazing. Yeah, oh. I have the embossing tray too. That's a That's good idea. That's the best box I ever spent was the embossing tray. Mom I said she that. just asked her husband to fix her tools. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't either. New York wants to know how everything's going with your daughter, Kim. 
Um, she is home at the moment, um, but she's got to see a hematologist now. And, uh, you know, it's touch and go. It's pretty serious what she's got. And uh, it's sent our family kind of for a loop, really. Um, it was life-threatening what she has. And uh, it uh, was pretty scary couple of days for our family when she went in the hospital because we thought she'd had a stroke and uh, but she's doing better now um, but we've got to keep an eye on her if she even has the slightest little not feeling well she's got to go right back to the hospital so and she's on some medication now for this blood disorder she's got You're very sweet, ladies. Thank you all so much. And I know that it was your prayers and, and good wishes that helped her get better. So I really thank you for that. She's a real um, sweetheart, too. Well, yeah, she's been in my chat. You know her, Paranoia Princess. Well, I'm hoping she'll be well enough to come back in the chat soon. But uh, we're going to be seeing them at Christmas, so... My my grandson's going to be here for Christmas, too, so. Which I am very, very happy about, because I miss them all terribly. I can imagine. So we're just this giving... Is the, I did, this is getting better. I did give these... Um, a wooden piece is a, a light coat of gesso. And I've got this um, this lock piece here. Is that a resin? No, this one's metal. Oh, nice. Metal, metal. Yeah, they're keeping a close eye on her, Don Marie. Um, very close eye, but I'm so blessed because um, we have such good health care here in Canada. And uh, she was diagnosed almost immediately. Um, and the hospital that she was at is specializes in this blood disorder. So they, they were you know, aware of what it could do and, and they got the right treatment. She had to have numerous plasma transfusions and uh, she had um, a pick line put in her hip. They didn't have to keep poking her for the transfusions. So yeah, it's been rough. It's been a rough month for sure. And I had my surgery just prior to that so I was recovering from surgery when all this happened and it just yeah one thing after another so I think I'll be glad to see the back end of 2018 I think me too okay so now I'm just going to um, hit these a bit with the heat gun and then we can start adding our bits and bobs to the tray as you can see, I'm kind of going steampunk a little bit. Love I it. know somebody in the chat likes steampunk, Debbie. <laughs> Too bad Deanna's not here. She'll probably watch the replay. Yeah. Okay. So I've got this nice metal corner I think I'm going to put here. Now I'm just going to kind of lay out and see where I want to put things. Um, I have this lovely gentleman that I kind of want him to look like he's sitting. So I'm probably going to put him there. Love him. Yeah. My little girl here, she's got wings, so she's going to go there. Hmm. Something on the back of that glue. Do it 
like that. This is so much fun. It is fun. I didn't used to be a background layering person, but I've been hanging around Kim long enough now that <laughs> I'm starting to like it. So now I'm at the favorite point, which is embellishing. This yeah, it's fun. Fun for me. It's fun, fun, fun. great thing about mixed media is you can do whatever you want. I don't think I'm going to use that chart. I like no rules. Yeah. No rules works for me. Okay, so kind of a layout here that I've got going on. Thank you so much, New York. You're such a sweetheart. And Nettie and Connie and everybody in the chat, thank you so much. Um, your thoughts and prayers are much appreciated. I love these little tiny gears. They're cute. Oh, and guys, I'm going to be doing a lace de stash very soon. Woohoo! Um, I've already got the bags made up. They're going to be grab bags. Um, really nice laces, too. Um, She's so not kidding. I saw them, and they're gorgeous. Um, but what I'm going to, I will do a video, but they're going to be put in my Etsy. And then you guys can just go over to my Etsy and get them. But I will do a video and let you know when they're in there. I've just got to finish photographing them. And then I'll do a vid and uh, let y'all know that they're in there. New York says, yay. So watch for that. That's going to be in the next couple of days. I say yay, too. If there's anything you guys are looking for, we both need to de-stash. So if there's anything you need, I have a pile right now of paper, um, tons of paper, rubber stamps, and a couple of projects that were made. I have some vintage linens. So if there's anything anyone's looking for, please let us know. I'll customize if you're looking for specific colors or types of things or it's like steampunk or shabby or whatever. Lots of glue strings. Hooray. Only thing I'm not de-stashing is bling. Yeah. I like my bling. Yep. Yeah. I have a whole bunch of ribbon, actually, too. I haven't even gone through the ribbon yet. Or fabric. So there's where I'm at at the moment. I'm just starting to add my little embellishments. And that way. There. So do you want me to click over on you, Kimmy, and you can show... Just one second, because I'm right in the middle of gluing, but yes. Well, I'll click over on you. Scissors, scissors. Okay, this is a hot mess with the glue, but trust that I will fix it later. So I have put down bling wise. Big giant pearl right here. And then 
gorgeous piece of bling. Two little um, stamens. And then this is a hanging pearl right there. And then I just glued a string of pearls here. Going with that a little bit somewhere else. I also Pretty. gave a quick hit with my um, vintage or antique linen distress oxide. So you can see a tiny little bit of the cream color because I haven't gotten to my laces and appliques and things yet. And I did what I said and smeared a little bit. And I also hit it with um, the Tim Holtz little mini distress ink of um, sponge sugar. And I haven't gotten my snow yet or my metallic rub on. So trying to work quickly so we don't keep you guys here all day. But that is where I am at. I think this is going to be cute, though. It is. I think some lace or trim is going to be, like, coming up from under, which is why I didn't paint the bottom, because I wasn't sure where I was going to end up with it. Yeah, I'm cutting a bit of lace right now. Yeah, it. eventually it's going to get painted. It's just I have to figure out which direction I'm going. I like to... my my method is I like to pull out a bunch of different things that I may or may not use. And that's mm -hmm. what inspires me when I see all the different products together. Then I go, oh, this would look great with that. And this would look great with that. Oh, if I did this, this would be cute. And that's kind of yeah. my, I'm a visual learner, basically. And a hoarder. So that kind of plays into that too. Just a craft supply hoarder. <laughs> Not a regular hoarder. <laughs> Just want to clarify. <laughs> All right, I'll click back over on me. Um, New York said, shabby steampunk vintage mixed media is my life. That's right, me too, well, girl. girl. Message me on Facebook if there's anything you need or want. I can hook up and if anybody wants to do a swap for laces or things i'm down with that too i just add another quick piece of bling right here love this yeah, let me click on you oh it's okay i thought we were on me still it's okay yep. no it's fine because i'm gonna go and grab my laces now so keep going you're good all right i'll click back on me okay Yeah, I love all those things too, New York. Yep. That is my thing. So I'm adding a few flowers and I am gonna be hitting um, this with a bit of paint and, you know, shabbying the flowers and things up. And I've also added a couple of little pieces of lace in here, um, but again, just gluing my bits in. This little light bulb I stole from Hubby's workshop. You're so bad. He had quite a few, so. I love the little light bulbs. Okay. Although, yeah, probably he wouldn't even notice it's gone, right? No, no, he knows. My husband um, repairs electronics, so he gets all kinds of cool little bits, and uh, he brings pieces up to me. What's that piece you just brought me? Yeah, this. He brought me this. This is a motherboard. That's awesome. So, I mean, this is going to go on it's a mixer. awesome why you have it, but... <laughs> no, this was a beautiful tablet I had that was gorgeous, and I loved it, and it died, and there was no fixing it. My husband tried to fix it. And my husband can fix anything. He's a computer dude. Computer so dude. he brought me the motherboard and said, here's what's left of your computer. And I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> but I think it'll be cool on a mixed media piece. Yeah. I am starting, I started a mixed media Mac. You've seen it. I have, I have, I have. Same thing, it's sad. It was my daughter's and it's sad that it's dead now. Okay, let's see. What do I want to put in that one? 
What do I want to do? I might just put a gear in there. I love crafting on the fly. This is fun. I need a glue stick. Okay. I love it when you're having a rough morning or a rough day and you come in your studio and you turn your stress into something beautiful. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Well, crafting is therapy, right? Yep. Yeah, I got to think about what to do with that New York. It, it will be good. Um, I have some ideas rolling around in my head, so we'll see what I come up with. But I can see that being like a focal point. Maybe on a That'd canvas cool. or something. Let's do a live, Kim, where everybody find an old piece of electronics that is dead and won't be repa repaired or anything, and we'll all, like, mix media them up. Sounds good to me. That'd be fun. Yes, what is the Timeless Memories Hop? Let everybody know, New York. Oh, yeah, because I've been getting notifications about that. Okay. Let me yes, have it would be more of a mixed media oh, steampunk, sure. yes. Congrats to you, Mom. That's amazing. I got to look for some bits here in my little drawers. I quit smoking two years ago. Okay, I got a key. Kim's husband quit smoking as well. Oh, he quit six years ago easily six seven years ago some wings a little star bits got glue strings i always have glue strings ditto that one I'm looking for one specific thing here sorry guys nope. you're good kimmy nope 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 that's what i'm looking for right there man these glue sticks do not want to stick today I wonder if it's because it's cold. Does that make a difference? Yeah, the temperature does make a difference. That would be why then. Never had that problem before ever. Okay, so. It's a vintage theme YouTube hop. Started on the 18th for five consecutive Sundays. Um on to December 16th. If you can type the link in chat, New York, um, I would love to hop along. Kim and I are planning a hop for the spring. Yep. We will keep you posted on that. Yeah, my friend Michelle Weld is in that hop, I believe. So I need to take some time and, and check it out. That makes me feel better that that's why the glue isn't sticking. I thought it was me. Nope. The temperature. There we go, that's the one I'm looking for. Good morning, country girl. Hey, girl. How are you? That's my Canadian the buddy. Board would be a great steampunk. Yes. That's my Canadian friend right there. I know. She's a fellow Canuck. Cats let you sleep. <laughs> yes, it would be good for steampunk. Yep. 
We just said, country girl, everybody find a broken electronic something. And then we're going to do a live in the future where we all steampunk or mixed media up our broken electronics. So here's where I'm at at the moment. I've added some little Prima screw heads here. Got a little star in there. Beautiful. Um, I haven't glued the key down, but that's going to go there. And then we're going to just hit everything with a bit of paint and embossing powder to highlight it. And then we're getting there. See how good you are on the fly? I kind of sort of had something in my head with this. But... You know, you never know how things are going to turn out till you actually do them. Okay. So after I get that done, I'm going to have some words on here. But yeah, I think so now I need some paint and embossing powder. Ooh, I have this metallic paint I like. <clears throat> Let's use a little bit of that. Here's my little brush. Whoa. Um, baby wipe. Thank you, Connie. guys are so sweet we always have lovely lovely people here at the live we're blessed i look forward to it every week i really do you guys make it awesome so i think this is a deco art set that i've had for years i think um they're just four little metallic pots so um i'm just going to kind of highlight things with a couple of different colors and then um, add some embossing powder as well while the paint's wet. I want to darken these flowers up a bit too with this. They're a little too bright blue. What would I do without these metallic rub-ons? I've had these forever. I love metallic rub-ons, though. I mean, seriously, I've had these forever, but they're awesome. Probably 15 years or more. Well, my little light bulb is crooked, but we'll fix it. I don't know if y'all are on the um, email list for Dollar Tree, but I got an email this morning. I haven't even had a chance to tell Kim this. They're, you know, ahead of the game and they're already working on Valentine's. And I got an email this morning that said they're going to have an online flower catalog. Oh, wow. Really? So we will be checking that out later today, right? Yep. That I'd like to see. Right. Me too. I wish I had a wholesale license because then we could order wholesale from them. Um, do they sell wholesale? They sure do online. Wow. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yep. You know, not all their flowers are great, but there's some that you can work with. And I mean, you can't beat the price with a stick. I do not have a Dollar Tree. I have numerous, so. We have like ra random, they're just called dollar stores and then dollar yeah. out, so. We have that too. We have Dollar General, um, other ones, Family Dollar, but Dollar Tree is no. the only one that's really a dollar. We do not have that, unfortunately. 
So it's not above me to go to a few different ones to find what I'm looking for. Yeah. And I do find here too, um, correct me if I'm wrong, country girl, um, because you're Canadian, different dollaramas have different things. Oh, thanks for putting the link. Yes, thank you. Let me, did you click thank show? You, Amy. There we go. Okay, so, so I've just sprinkled the two different embossing powders, the rust and the, the relic turquoise. Now I'm going to heat that up. Sorry, we forgot. We have to click a button for the links to go through. Sorry about that. Forgot to glue my little piece of lace down. Okay. So there we go. old rusty so now what do i want i want some kind of saying or something on here let me guess kim is going to go for a tim holtz <laughs> chipboard quote yeah well these are the small talk ones i know that um my heat gun is quiet yeah you know what this one is a beast this is a marvy it's actually an embossing gun. There's a difference between a heat gun and an embossing gun. This is an embossing gun um, and it's by Marvy, this one. But you can see it is very old, it has melted. This actually blew up once and my husband fixed it. Um, I had a Tim Holtz gun, I had it for two years and then it blew up. I bought another Tim Holtz gun. I bought it on Amazon, it was shipped to me. I was like, oh, I'm so happy I have a new Timmy gun. Let me use it. And I painted yeah. something, turned the turned it on, and it blew up in my hand and started on fire. So I had to send it back, and I have not replaced it yet um, because I've still just been using this. But this is for specifically for embossing, um, but I use it for everything. Um, it's a good gun, but, yeah, it's seen, you know, it's been through a few craft wars, let's say. I've got that plain old purple Marvy one that I've had forever. Takes a beating and keeps on ticking or whatever. Like the Energizer Bunny. Oh, you just got two Dollar Trees in BC, did you? Okay, I know that Montreal is getting a Dollar Tree. And yes, to the dollar stores, they seem to have different stock. Yes, they do. Nice. New York said, no problem, Kim. I truly love trying to, so love any way I can, whether it's trying to join in a hop or swap or watching your videos. That's just who I am, especially with my busy schedule at the hospital. Oh, yeah, we just, we had to click a button. We forgot when anybody wants to post a link. Our bad. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, definitely you need the heat tool, Jamie. Hey, Keisha. What up, girl? Hey, Keisha. Keisha, if you want to tell everybody about your challenge, we were talking about challenges earlier. Well, 
like this one. It's stay curious. Kenneth, you want to click on me for a minute? Okay. Whenever you're ready. I will click on you now. Okay, ladies. Over to you, Missy. Okay. So I've completed the bling. And I've moved on. I put, I cut up some little pieces of lace. This is actually a piece of a collar. This is a gorgeous applique with pearls. Um, this is a little applique as well that's been dyed. All of these have been tea dyed. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but like I'll give this as an example. I hit this piece of blue bling right here with my white metallic rub on. And it gave a really kind of cool finish on it. I've never tried that before. And then I used the purple on these little stamens right here. And then if you can see um, on this applique, I've hit it with some pink and purple on the metallic rub-ons, as well as all over the piece. Uh, there's some pink on this one. I mean, if they stay really well, I'm surprised. I put some more on top of this big pearl that's down there. Um, there's some blue on this one. And this is what I'm using. It's literally old as the hills. It's a mini oh, metallic. Yeah, it's a mini metallic rub on. Um, I don't even know who made this. Crafty Products. Never heard of them. Lord, it says patent pending, Kim. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Oh, Lord. But see, there's really, really oh, pretty things in there. I'm loving that. So actually, I need some help, girls. I don't know where to go from here. I need to start filling up my little insides. But what else does this need? Please tell me in the chat where to go with it. It's going to be this way, and it's going to be hanging from this hole right here. I think so it maybe like, I don't know. Any like suggestions, an please let me know. Maybe like an image or something, like in, in one of the little circles. I've got tons of ephemera. I could do, totally do that. I've got some bottle brush trees. That could happen. Oh, I don't like the bottle brush tree idea. Or unless you're making it specifically for Christmas. Well, it is going to be for Christmas, yeah. Oh, well then, yeah, bottle brush tree you could set in there. So any other suggestions, y'all, please let me know in the chat. I'm going to just keep on going. Let me grab one of my bottle brush trees. And I, I saw in a magazine, I'm going to try this idea. You take a bottle brush tree. I'm going to use bigger ones than this. This is a teeny tiny one. And then you just make a ring and you glue this bottle brush tree down and it's a napkin holder for your Christmas table. How cute is that? I so love that idea. So I'm definitely going to do that. My husband was unimpressed when I told him that. <laughs> Ah, man, they don't get it. I know. If you if you follow me on Instagram, my kitchen table is set and it's on there and I don't have napkin rings, so they're going to be made for my kitchen table. I have a real elaborate dining room table and I'll post pictures of that later today. I think that would be cute though. Here, I just put one on top of this little pearl right here. This little bottle brush tree you can see standing up. So yep. I will put another one somewhere else and I will um, yeah. I will get some images out when Kim clicks back on her because I have to go dig through those. I have so much ephemera. I'm an ephemera junkie. I am just looking for bits. But Keisha, if you want to type in the chat about your challenge, feel free. Yeah. She's having a pocket letter challenge for those of you that like pocket letters. And again, any suggestions for me on what to go inside my tin would be great. Come on, girls, give me some suggestions. <laughs> I no. had to decline, unfortunately. Understood, New York. Okay, so anybody have any suggestions for Kenny, please? K 
Kim, are you clicked on you again or me? No, I'm just I'm on you, but I can click on me. I'm just looking for some little bits to yeah, finish. I gotta, I gotta dig for ephemera, so. You dig for that, girl. For some images. Good thing I know where everything is now, because I cleaned up. We'll do the button instead. I like the button. I like the buttons. I'm just looking for little bitty bits. Little bitty bits? Yep, little bitty bits. Kind of feeling like... Yeah, no worries, Connie. I'm going to message you this afternoon, sweetheart. Everything's fine. Hey, just getting some bits out, guys. Tiny little flower. Okay. If my fingers will let me glue all these little tiny things on. Hey, Tammy. I don't think okay. we've met before. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Tammy's been here before. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I think I'm just going to add like a few little micro beads in clear. We'll use some glue. And that's glue ever. I love doing things like this. They're kind of like shadow boxes, you know? I think I might add a bit of mica powder too. I think, I think. We love the mica powder. I do. Okay, get on there. What made me come up with this idea? I've had this tin for ages and I was talking to Kimmy about it. I pulled it out about, I don't know, a week and a half ago. And she's like, I have a muffin tin. <laughs> so I was like, all right, let's do it. Here, um, we, here we are. Um, but I do like, <clears throat> excuse me, rusty Tina things. I just kind of like that look old. Like it's been sitting around That'll come real handy with the new color of the year. Where did I put that? Like a powder. There it is. So we're going to add a little bit of that. Just to be fancy. Hey, that's my job. I'm fancy. You are, yeah. <laughs> Fancy pants. Oh, glue strings. Love those. I 
And this is uh, Lindy's. It's called Billabong Blue Green. Oh, Lindy's wow. Microphone. That's an interesting name. Billabong uh, is a surf company here that makes surfing gear. Must be an Australian company, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. That's my niece's favorite. Well, thanks, company. Tammy. And we're just going to pick up on a lot of that texture now. Rub that mica powder in. Anybody been watching any good movies or anything good on Netflix lately? I'm trying to find The Quiet Man, but I haven't found it yet. I watched The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> and I watched all 10 episodes. I binge watched it. I'm not going to be ashamed it? that I did that. <laughs> episodes of what? Uh, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I binge watched the whole thing. Oh, Kimmy. All 10 episodes. Of course, they left it on a cliffhanger, so now I'm like, okay, let's go get the next season out. I'll let you know what Brian thinks. I don't think he's, he may have started it last night. I just started the new Mrs. Maisel, season two on Netflix. I haven't seen that. And, no, it's on Amazon Prime. Love that one. Love her. Love it. Um, spoiler, first episode, they're in Paris, so I absolutely loved that. Country Girl said with your tin, she would glue things to the edge inside so it shows better what's inside. So, like, go around each circle, I guess. Okay, gotcha. Like, with some trim, I can do that. Thank you. Um, and then maybe use your punch to cut. Oh, the handmaid's tail? Yes, absolutely. That is, whew. Sorry, Kim. That's okay. I would um, use your circle punch to punch out an image to put inside. Um, two I'm steps pretty much done. That. I'm two steps ahead of you on that. The Handmaid's Tale is intense. I watched it and I talked to my daughters about it afterwards, and they're like, "Mom, we had to read that book in high school," and I was like, "Wow, in high school." She's a Canadian author, Margaret Atwood. But I was like, "Whoa!" And I'm you know 50 years old, and I was like, "Wow." <laughs> So that was a little shocking. These are um, crushed seashells. And they're actually New York. You'll back me up on this. These are actually nail art pieces. Oh, nice. Um, I got a whole um, package of them on eBay a couple of years ago. And they come in different colors. I think I'm pretty much done, Kimmy. How are you making out? Almost there. If you can just give me a minute. Yeah, no worries. I want to take that suggestion and see if this is what she had in mind, and then I can call it a day, too. Well, they have that on Hulu. Oh, yeah, okay. Handmaid's Tales on Hulu, yep. Yeah, we can't get Hulu here in Canada. I got some painty fingers today. It is seriously yeah. intense, so it's not for the faint of heart. If stuff like that upsets you, I don't recommend it. Or maybe no, read I the book. The, I maybe have the big like, burning maybe read the book first. Maybe read the book first. I have the big burning question. Show of hands. Who's an Outlander fan? Me. Oh, 
Here we go. I thought you said you were about done. This is going to be another hour now. <laughs> <laughs> I am a big Outlander fan. I read the and book. She won't even give me her bestie any spoilers. She's so mean. I won't because it's so good. I don't want to wreck it for you. Yes, I know, Jamie. That's my girl. High five, Jamie. <laughs> oh, God, Jamie. You're going to be yeah, sorry you admitted to that. You are going to be sorry, Jamie. Country Girl, too. Isn't it great? It's such a great show. Oh, goodness. One of the best shows on TV. Hey. Keep Tammy, talking for just it. a second. Okay, Tammy, they have all three, the first three seasons on Netflix. Please and watch. Amazon Prime if you're a Prime member. Yes, if you're in the States, you can get Amazon Prime. Or stars, the stars app, all that. So here is my finished tray. Let's we'll start at the top here. Ow. Got my little man there sitting on the shelf. And it says stay curious. And then my little girl butterfly. So I'm gonna put like a a hangy thing on the back. So it can be hung but that's it and i'm i'm fairly happy with the rusty patina look i think it came out pretty good so i'll get some photos and uh, <laughs> Tammy feels a binge coming on <laughs> yes girl Start you're gonna need like on. three or four days to do that <laughs> or maybe a it week is, it is a time travel um romance story. It starts off with Claire, who is a nurse in World War II, and she time travels um, back to the 1700s. Um, it is fairly intense, and there is nudity, so just be warned. Yes, Jamie loves Outlander as much as me. Me too. Yep. Yeah, Kim Outlander. and I watch every episode twice before we discuss it. <laughs> I'm wearing an Outlander shirt right now, I'm just saying. I, I didn't know. wear mine because I didn't want to get paint on it. <laughs> I have several. <laughs> yeah, I just have one, Missy. Yeah, there's some nudity. Yeah, there is, Tammy. <laughs> uh, some? Uh, well, you know. Those things happen. All right, go ahead. Click on me. I'm not All finished, right, but it's close we... enough. Close enough. Jamie rewatched the whole series in three days before the new season came out. That is intense, girl. Well done. <laughs> that is intense. Like that's like mad props for that. Wow. I didn't even do that. So right, me neither. <laughs> okay, are you on me? Yep. Okay, here's where I'm at so far. So I think this is what Tammy meant. I kind of put some ivory trim on the inside of that one. Mm -hmm. And then I also put it along the outside edge, which I'm going to do. I'm going to finish later. Yeah, I, like it. I like it on the outside edge. Really yeah. Like and I'm going to continue filling up the little insides. And um, I'm going to put, don't laugh at me, Kim. I'm going to put a Tim Holtz chipboard quote in there somewhere as well. <laughs> yep. And I may hit it with a little dry brushing of some gold paint. I haven't decided. Pretty. Very pretty. So, yeah, everybody's saying pretty, darling. But you cute. see, I put these in here, these little guys. Yeah, the little paper doll dudes. Yeah, there's. Two, I put two boys in it just to be something different. He's just hanging out in there, sitting down. I know, I'm not finished with him. <laughs> He's hanging out. He's waiting for his mini muffins. <laughs> but yeah, and I mean, imagine it hanging, you know, so I haven't finished even the hanging part, so... This is obviously longer than an hour than I, I didn't realize. So, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I like it anyway. so far. Well done. So, thank you guys all for coming. We love you all. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. And don't forget um, all the links to everything are in the description box under the video. If you're not a member of the Angel Dream Crafts Facebook group, the link is in the description under the video. Please come over and join us. We'd love to have you. And um, you'll find all of our other social media in there too. And Kimmy also has a group 
which is um, Vintage Rose. What is it called, Kimmy? Kim's Vintage Rose and Crafty Friends on Facebook. Yeah, so if you just type that in the search bar on Facebook, you'll find it. Um, feel free to sub to each other because we really like that. Thank you, New York. Claire, the Claire is the nurse's name. Yes, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We had fun. And don't forget, um, we'll be back Tuesday morning at 11 for our regular live. Um, yes, that's 11 Eastern. 11 Eastern, which is 8 a.m. Um, on the West Coast and 4 p.m. in the UK. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you all for coming. Thank Thanks, you, guys. everybody. Kisses and hugs. Bye, Bye guys. guys. See you all soon. Bye. Bye.